the Patriots feature one of the most explosive backcourts in the conference and maybe the nation, while the Saints boast a balance of productive offense and stingy defense. PBC Basketball starts now. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today from Flagler College in St. Augustine, Florida. It's a gorgeous sunny day here on the First Coast. Glad to have you with us for this PBC game. The Flagler Saints come in 6-1 and one in the PBC, 8-2 and two overall. They are just in front of Georgia College in the PBC standings. Meanwhile, Francis Marion comes in 3-6 and six overall, 3-6 and six in the league. A look at the starting lineups. First for the visiting Patriots. At forward, number zero, Langston Gaither. At three, uh, at guard, number three, Holden Redpath, a 6'5 senior. Also in the backcourt, number 11, Alex Cox. He's a 6'2 junior. At forward, a 6'6 sophomore, number 21, Darius Dawson. And rounding out the starting lineup at forward, a 6'7 junior, number 23, Uhana Ochan. And now for the Flagler College Saints, the starting lineup for head coach Chad Warner. At a guard, number one, Derek Ellis. He's a 5'11 senior. Also in the backcourt, a 6'2 senior, number four, Jasek Lotti. Up front, at forward, a 6'7 senior, number 15, Chris Metzger. At guard, a 6'2 freshman, number 20, Spencer Bain. And rounding out the starting lineup, at forward, a 6'4 sophomore, number 23, Jalen Barr. So it's Ellis, Lottie, Metzger, Bain, and Barr for the Saints. Gaither, Redparth, Cox, Dawson, and Ochan for the Patriots. Now, Chad Warner not on the bench today, not in attendance due to the COVID protocol. He is quarantining, so he is at home, and we wish Coach all the best. He'll hand the coaching reins over to Blake Selland and Kip Owens, his assistants. Selland will be the uh, acting head coach, if you will. Kip Owens did the scouting on Francis Marion, so he'll really handle most of the X's and O's, and Selland will handle the game management. Well, Francis Marion in their blue, trimmed in red, and Flagler in their home whites with the red numerals and red trim. Barr and Dawson in the circle, and we're underway. Tip is won by the Patriots. Ochan's pass is too tall for Gaither, out of bounds, and it's an early turnover for Francis Marion. This is Bain, his second start of the year, number 20. Gives it up to Metzger, now the handoff to Ellis. Open three, Jalen Barr short, and the rebound comes off to the Patriots. Barr's numbers, since we saw them last here at home, have ticked up a bit as he takes the charge, and that's what Coach Warner likes about him. He's willing to do the dirty work, get physical, play aggressive. And another turnover for the Patriots. Flagler scores 77.3 points a game. That's third best in the conference. And they allow 71.1. That's also third best defensively. Three ball from the corner is good from Spencer Bain. And the Saints start to score. It. At the other end, the answer is off target from Gaither. Lottie with the rebound. Saints want to run. Lottie all the way to the rack. Scoops it up and in. Lottie is second in the conference. 24.6 points a game coming in. Three-pointer is too long, but... The rebound comes off to Gaither. 
And a foul inside as Barr will get tagged with the personal here and it'll send Gaylor to the line to try to complete the three point play. Gaither scores 23 and a half points a game. That's third best in the PBC. And Holden Redparth scores 20.3 points a game. That's fourth. So the third and fourth high scores in the league for Francis Marion. Nice cut and the finish by Lottie off the pass from Metzger. And the Saints are up 7-3. Barr looking to deny Dawson. This is Gaither. Working on Ellis. Step back jump shot is good. Ellis right to the rack and he scores. Saints by four. And that's red part. So we've seen both of the scores, the, the primary scores for Francis Marion get involved early. Metzger double teamed as he works on Ochan. This is Lottie, has a shot rejected by Dawson, kept alive, and now it'll go over to the Patriots. Parth on the low block. Passes out of the double team. <clears throat> Tough shot. Barely catches iron from Gaither. Metzger at the other end. And the strong finish. <laughs> Dawson lost his footing. And the basketball. Lottie going the other way. Bain open in the corner for three. And he's got a pair of triples early on. And that gets a timeout from Francis Marion. We'll step aside to Saints off to a great start. 14 to 8. And welcome back to Flagler Gym. Glad to have you with us. Dave Wendell along with Jordan Fauci running the camera and producing for us. Well, Coach Warren is, uh, Warner is missing just his second game in his coaching career. He missed a game when he was an assistant at William Mary for the birth of his first daughter. And that's it. So this must be a strange experience for Coach. Three-pointer is good. 
by Red Park. Lottie into the lane. Draws a lot of defensive attention and now has a shot turned back by Gaither. Coach Warner in his fourth season at Flagler. 39 and 54 here with the Saints. 195 and 145 overall. Longtime head coach at Shorter University. In fact, the winningest coach in Shorter history. 156 and 91 there. Metzger inside. Saints by five. Red Parth goes to work on Barr. And the shot, no. Metzger with the rebound. You see that defensive tenaciousness from Jalen Barr. And there's a carry called against Ellis. Barr can match up defensively with multiple positions on the floor. He's among the conference leaders in blocks per game. Red Parth, fade away from the free throw line. I talked to Coach Warner this morning. He said this guard combo, Gaither and Red Parth, I think he was talking about it. Perhaps the most explosive in the in the conference and one of the best combos in the nation. There's Metzger inside. Double team passes out of it to Bain. Three-pointer is good. Spencer has three triples. Spencer Bain from downtown. The lead is six. And the jumper from Gaither is off target. Lottie goes to work with the screen set by Metzger and a foul on Redparth. That's his first. Uh, checking in for the Saints, number five, Ty Tyler Collier. And number two, Chase Fiddler. Coach Warner said Fiddler and Bain are really going to have to step up today. It appears that Marcus Henderson is not dressed out. This is Collier. Gets some help from Lottie. Pulls up for three. And the lead has swelled to nine. A lot of contact and the steal by Lottie. Behind the back and a no look pass inside to Barr who misses, gets his own rebound and can't find it a second time. And a foul at the other end, perhaps a little bit of frustration on Barr's part after he missed in close. And that'll get Lawrence Slim up off the bench for the Saints. So Slim replaces Barr. Head coach for Francis Marion is Gary Edwards in his 15th season. He's 199 and 202. That's the second most wins in school history. He's in his 37th season overall as a head coach. Spent 10 seasons at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Lottie scores inside, and he's up to nine points. Ten seasons at Indiana University of Pennsylvania, where he's the all-time leader in wins and nine seasons at Division I Charleston Southern where he was the two-time Big South 
Coach of the Year. Steal by Bain. Saints have numbers, and then it's taken right back by Cox, Alex Cox. Gaither. Lottie for three. And over the back goes Collier. That's his first personal. Interesting note about Francis Marion coach Gary Edwards. He writes a weekly sports column for the Florence Daily News. And he's also uh, an associate athletic director. Gaither picks up his dribble. Now skip pass into the corner. Baseline jumper way too strong. That's Javon Anderson, number 30, into the game for the Patriots. Collier working down low. Shot is off the mark, but he'll go to the line and shoot two. And immediate timeout will take it as well. More action coming up. Saints 24, Patriots 15. And welcome back to Flagler Gym. Glad to have you with us here on the PBC Network. Flagler looking to stay in first place in the PBC. Six and one coming in. Georgia College right behind at seven and two. And that much anticipated game against Georgia College was postponed. In fact, the Saints have been off for a week had their first workout in a week last night. Collier makes the first free throw. Coach Warner says it's tough to play when you haven't practiced, so this should be interesting to see how the Saints respond after a week off. Alex Cox gives it up to Gaither. Gaither working on Lottie. Ball nearly stolen away. And a whistle. Is this a foul? Working off the screen again. Into the key. Fiddler's three is off target. And the shot inside is good by Alex Cox. Travel called against Lawrence Slim.
Our officials today, James Smith, Antonio Vargas, and Willisette DelVal. Okay, they're bottled up. He'll give it up to Redparth. Seven to shoot. <clears throat> and another turnover. Fiddler comes up with the loose ball. Four to shoot. Collier will take the three. <laughs> Fiddler comes down with the rebound. Ellis loses the handle and now commits the foul as he bumps into Red Park. Oh, the Saints will get. Spencer Bain and Jalen Barr back into the game, replacing Fiddler and Slim. Elbow jumper is too strong from Cox. Lottie tries to slip the pass to Barr, who was cutting along the baseline, and the ball knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Saints. Lottie goes right at the 10. Bars there to crash the boards. And it was, they're going to say that it was in the cylinder. You can't fault the effort there from Barr came crashing through to keep the ball alive. Dawson needs some help. Three-pointer is good from Ochan. Step back three pointer rattles home. Lottie flies by and Red Parth knocks down the three. The lead is five. Collier gives it up to Bain, who already is up to nine points with those three three-pointers. Long three from Lottie is off target. Red Parth misses. Lottie with a step through, and he'll draw contact and a foul. So Jasek Lottie will go to the line to shoot a pair. And that is the under eight media timeout. We'll step aside. Saints 28, Patriots 23.
I'm going to look at the early shooting numbers. The Saints are shooting a robust 52.4% from the floor, 50% from three. Francis Marion, 44.4% on field goals, also 50%, four of eight on long balls. Rebounding battle won by Flagler right now, 12 to nine. Saints have seven assists to five turnovers. Patriots with five assists and seven turnovers as Lottie goes to the line. Lottie, the transfer from Arkansas, Little Rock. He's a 77.5% free throw shooter. Does a little of everything. He's got 46 assists. That's tied for tops on the team with Derek Ellis Jr. And he makes one of two here. Shoots at a 40% clip from long range. That would be good for fourth in the PBC. And speaking of a three-pointer, there's Red Parth. Red Parth is actually first in the conference in three-point field goal percentage, 43.5%. Gaither shoots it well out there too, 37.5%. Lonnie with the spectacular move inside, the reverse layup is good in traffic. And Lottie's up to 12 points. Coach Warner expected this to be a war, and it's been a close fight here as the ball is saved somehow from going out of bounds, and Redparth is there to clean it up with an easy bucket. Looking for Metzger down low. Beautiful pass by Ellis. And Metzger collects it and lays it in. Ochan with the three-pointer off glass. Oh, excuse me, that's Dawson. Metzger with a little sky hook. Francis Marion's record may be a little deceiving at three and six. They've played very close games. They just haven't been able to finish them out for wins. Great look inside, blocked by Barr from behind on the shot attempt by Gaither. Substitute for the Patriots, number 25, Julius Raudinus is into the game, a seven footer from Lithuania. Steal by Barr, and he'll go to the other end and slam it home. Barr created his own opportunity there with the good defense, and the league is the lead is six. A lot of contact inside. Metzger changed the shot by Raudinus. Metzger back to Ellis. Bain, extra pass into the corner for Lottie. Metzger, offensive rebound in the stick back. Under four minutes to play, first half. Red Parth is fouled on the baseline jumper. I think Ellis will be charged with the personal here. And that'll take us to a media timeout. 39-31, Saints on top.
And welcome back. Saints with an eight point lead, 39 31. So free throws coming here for Red Parth. Patriots are eighth in the league in scoring, tenth in scoring defense. Their first in team free throw percentage. One more for Red Parth. So Red Parth will get a breather. Checking back into the game is Javon Anderson, number 30. 6'2 freshman from Columbia, South Carolina. Lottie to Metzger inside, and he finishes strong over Dawson. Mid-range jumper off the mark. Metzger boxes out for the board. You see that in Lottie's game. Obviously, he's among the league's best scorers, but he's also a top assist guy. He's third in the conference at 5.1 assists a game. Derek Ellis is fourth in the PBC in assists a game. And he's got the basketball. Pass to Bain, now to Lottie, works off the screen. Ellis left open for three, bounce pass, tipped away and intercepted. It's a steal for Gaither. Wide open, three-pointer rims off from Anderson. Lottie will take the three, and he buries it. He's up to 15 points. And the Saints' lead has ballooned to 11, 44-33. Barr rips down another rebound. Lottie the other way, backs his way down on the post. How about out to Ellis? Skip pass, too tall for Bain, and it's a turnover for the Saints. Their seventh of the game. Gaither got his defender in the air and buries the three pointer. Barr, the great look inside to Metzger who has 14 points. And a steal by Lottie. He'll challenge Gaither and he'll draw the foul. So Lottie goes back to the line. Barr is on the floor along the baseline and hopefully just a cramp for Barr as Metzger and Lottie give him a hand. And the trainer comes out. Well, let's look at the Saints schedule. Francis Marion today and then hopefully on Saturday a visit to Augusta. Augusta was picked to finish first in the league, but they're at four and four, sixth overall. And then a trip to Lander. The February 20th home date against UNC Pembroke has been canceled because Pembroke has opted out of the season. That news coming down this week. 
Pembroke had only played six total games, five in the conference, and they elect elected to opt out of the season. So another one of the favorites in the league, and the fourth place team right now is gone for the 2021 season. And then the on the 24th, the Saints are here at home against USC Aiken before rounding out the season with a visit to South Carolina and Francis Marion before the PBC tournament semis and finals. Those are the top four teams will make the playoffs in the Peach Belt Conference. And the higher seeds, the two higher seeds, will host the semis. And then the remaining higher seeds, or, or highest seed, will host the final. That's March 4th for the semis, March 7th for the final. Hopefully we get there. Hopefully this Pembroke news is not a sign of things to come with the conference and we can complete the season, especially as well as Flagler is playing. So Lottie goes to the line. And the lead stretches to 11. Lottie makes them both. This is Alex Cox. Now inside, Redparth is rejected by Slim. Ellis wants to run. Goes right to the basket and lays it up and in. We tick under a minute to play. The Saints lead is now 14, the biggest of the game. Redparth gives it up underneath. And Dawson with the finish. Use the rim to shield off the defenders. Again, Ellis will attack. This time, ball is blocked. It'll stay with the Saints with 24 on the shot clock and 33.6 on the first half game clock. Ochan checks back in. Ben Jones, number five, also in for the Patriots. Inbounds pass comes to Metzger, hand off to Bain. Back to Lottie. And knocks down another long three-pointer. The lead has swelled to 15. Shot clock turned off for the Patriots. Gaither goes to work. Double team comes. He gives it up to Ochan. Back out to... Alex Cox, and that'll do it for the first half, and a great one for Flagler. Our score as we head to the break, Saints 53, Patriots 38. And oh, just before we step aside here, there's a whistle from the official, and they're going to keep both teams out on the court. So we'll see how they sort this out or what even is the issue. This is it. Well, well, we'll see here. There's four tenths of a second left. And so the Saints can inbound it here, and they'll do that, and now we go to the half. 53-38, Saints with an impressive opening half. We'll step aside for about 15 minutes, be back with first half stats and second half action. Glad to have you with us here on the PBC Network.
and welcome back. Ready for the start of the second half. Looking at some of the first half numbers, leading score for Francis Marion is Redparth with 18 points. Gaither has seven. For the Saints, Lottie with 15 points. Metzger with 12. The shooting, Patriots are shooting 40.7% from the floor, 50% from three, six of 12. Flagler with a red hot first half shooting, 62.1%, including six of 12 from three. Rebounds in favor of Flagler, 16 to 12. Assists, Flagler has 10, Francis Marion with seven. Turnovers, eight for the Patriots, six for the Saints. So a look at some of the first half numbers <clears throat> and the important ones. Saints up by 15, 53, 38 as we begin the second half. It'll be Flagler basketball. Just joining us again, head coach Chad Warner not in attendance because of the COVID protocol. He is quarantining. A foul inside. So his assistants, Blake Selland and Kip Owens, are running the team today. And coach said he has the utmost confidence in his two assistants as the ball is off of a, no, well, it's going to stay with the Saints. I thought Flagler had touched it last. Oh, beautiful pass from Barr to a cutting Lottie. Seventeen points, the biggest lead of the game for Flagler. Wide open, three-pointer. No, Metzger grabs the rebound. Redparth with the miss on that three. Ellis hurries into the front court. Layup is good. <laughs> Drive in the finish by Derek Ellis. He's got six points. <clears throat> Inside to Dawson, working on Lottie. And scores off the glass. <clears throat> Ellis posting up on Cox. Ball intercepted by Gaither. Gaither wants to attack. Goes coast to coast. Hits the underside of the rim. And Metzger grabbed the rebound. And then the ball batted out of bounds. And will go over to the Saints. Rodonius is back into the game. For Francis Marion. That's good to Lottie. <clears throat> Gives it up to Jalen Barr. And the shot inside by Redparth. Lottie baseline gives it up to Barr. Saints really sharing the basketball. Three pointer is too strong. Long rebound comes off to Barr. Again, Ellis wants to attack. Ball tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Saints. They get it into Spencer Bain. He'll try the three. Short. Metzger keeps it alive to Barr. And the Saints will reset. Lottie goes to work off the screen. Steps back again. Reverses course. Gives it to Metzger. And he missed the dunk. 
Redparth attacks at the other end. Gets his own miss. Puts it back in and draws the foul. I think they're going to get Spencer Bain here on the foul. And it will be Spencer's first personal. And he was fouled by number 20, Spencer Bain. So Redparth will go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Average is better than 20 points a game. Metzger cutting. Ellis found him. Into the corner, Ben Jones for three. Bar goes and nearly gets the rebound. He tipped it into the hands of Chris Metzger. Ellis is fouled on his way to the basket. Checking back in, number two, Chase Fiddler. He'll replace Spencer Bain. Ellis to inbound, looking for Lottie. Now up top to Barr. Ellis again attacks, this time with the left hand. Another brilliant finish by Derek Ellis. Lead is 19. Radonius. Edmondson from three. And Metzger is fouled. Radonius went over the back. Metzger's giving away five inches there, but did a great job blocking out. And that takes us to the under 16 media timeout. Saints cruising here in St. Augustine. Out of the timeout, Saints leading 63-44. Body drives, double team cuts him off. Metzger gets it <clears throat> way out on the baseline. Body step back three is good. Wow. That elite ability to score. Jacek Lottie, awkward looking shot by Rodonius. And the ball last touched by the Saints. Collier checks back in. 
It will replace Big Chris. Redparth lost it on his way to the basket. Fiddler gives it up to Ellis. And the Saints will work a little clock here. Lottie, another open three. Ordonius the board. The Saints offense has looked really crisp, especially the last few minutes of the first half and the opening minutes here in the second half. And they've opened up a 22-point lead. Another tough shot from Edmondson. Body behind the back. Leaves it for Collier, wide open three. And he nailed it! Tyler Collier! Everyone contributing. Saints have blown this open. Don has had the ball tapped away from behind. Lottie on the run out, and he scores. Lottie with 27 points. Mass substitutions waiting to check in for the Patriots. Red par bottled up by Ellis. Now to Ben Jones. This is Anderson. Crossover and the pass out of bounds. So Francis Marion gets most of its starting lineup back in. Meanwhile, Spencer Bain checks in and Jasek Lottie gets a well-deserved breather. Ellis got caught in midair and has the ball stolen by Gaither. Going the other way, Fiddler with a hard foul on Anderson. And Anderson will go to the line to shoot a pair. Both of the assistants for Flagler, who are sharing the head coaching duties today in Chad Warner's absence, were solid college players themselves. Blake Sellen played at Shorter for Coach Warner. Kip Owens played at Alabama Huntsville. He's still ninth there in career three-point percentage. He's fifth in blocks and third in free throw percentage on the career record book. Slim for three. Collier skies through and knocks the ball out of bounds. It'll go back over to Francis Marion. <laughs> Coach Warner says they both have head coach potential and have shown great service to both the program and the college. Pass inside, tipped away by Ellis. Likely ranked 21st in the latest NABC poll of Division II programs. Foul as Gaither was fouled on the jumper, I think by Ellis. This is the first time that Flagler has been ranked as a Division II program. And they're the only PBC team in the top 25. Free throw was up and good. Talking to John Jordan, the SID here at Flagler, he said he thinks the last time the men's basketball team was ranked was his first year here in 05 06 when they played in the NEIA. Well, 
Oh, half court pressure here from Francis Marion. Fiddler. Skip pass to Slim. Got his man in the air. Steps back. Three pointer. It's good. Lord Slim. Collier goes up and gets the defensive rebound. Into the corner, Bain. A step through there by Gaither. Looks like he may have taken steps. He's up to 14 points. One of the few bright spots for the Patriots this afternoon. Skip pass to Fiddler. Back to Ellis. <clears throat> 10 to shoot. Ellis working. Gives it up to Collier for a three. <laughs> and that one is a little off target. At the other end, Gaither misses and a whistle inside. And the ball will go back over to Flagler. That gets us up to the under 12 media timeout, 74-50. More action coming up. Welcome back. Interesting exchange there as we went into the timeout. Francis Marion coach Gary Edwards came across and said something to Blake Sellen, the acting coach for Flagler. I'm not sure what the exchange was about. Then the officials talked to Edwards coming out of that timeout, and he seemed pretty heated. Not sure if the two are related. <clears throat> can understand Coach Edwards' frustration. His team has not played well today. And the Saints have been very crisp offensively, and, and they've shut down those two big scores, Gaither and Redparth, for the most part. Gaither has 14, Redparth has 22, so shutdown maybe is a little too strong. <clears throat> Ball tipped away and stolen by Gaither. And a foul as Gaither was driving and apparently before the shot. <clears throat> Get it into Gaither, checked by Lottie, and a travel. <clears throat> Fiddler to Bain. Bain attacks. 
<clears throat> a lot of contact it seemed like inside. Ball last touched by Francis Marion. He'll stay here with the Saints with 13 on the shot clock. On the inbounds play, Bain for three. Saints have cooled off a little bit here in the last couple of minutes. Fiddler gets the miss. Lottie nearly lost the handle there. Fiddler no good from three. This is Redparth. Good defense by Lottie. Redparth just made a tough shot. And then contact as Gaither came up and bumped Lottie. Francis Marion shows full court pressure. Ellis, the senior, negotiates it, gets it inside the bar. And foul, I think, after the shot on the rebound. It's going against Ochan. And it looks like they're lining up to shoot free throws here. May have been a late whistle. Checking back in is number 21, Darius Dawson. He replaces Gaither. Bar missed them both. Three-pointer, Anderson. Javon Anderson. Body showing off the dribbling skills. Long pass to Ellis. Now Lottie will try the three. Straight away three from Ochan is, oh, from Dawson, excuse me. Darius Dawson. Ellis gives it up to Fiddler. Now gets it back. Metzger finds Barr. Barr attacks. Offensive foul. Taking the charge was Redpar. And there was a timeout on the floor. 74 58. Saints in control.
Back in St. Augustine, 74-58. Saints leading, 757 remaining in regulation. Saints continue to shoot it well, 56.6% from the floor, 40% from three. Open is Red Parth. And loose ball goes back over to Flagler. on the shot clock. Ball will stay right here with the Saints. Ball last touched by Metzger on the inbounds play. <clears throat> and it's a turnover. 13th of the game for Flagler. Three-pointer is on the money from Javon Anderson. He's got eight points. Ball tipped away again. Fast hands by Redparth. 11 on the shot clock. Up is into Lottie. Seven to shoot. Double team. Ellis from the corner. The foul is on number 23, Ochan. I think he ran right over Barr. So Barr goes to the line. Barr just seven points today, but he's been ferocious defensively. And missed the front end, but last touched by Francis Mary, and the ball will stay here with the Saints. Lottie is fouled by Alex Cox. So the Saints are in the bonus here. Lottie will go to the line to shoot one and one. Lottie's up to 28 points. Coach Warner really wants to you know, shape the culture here at Flagler. And a big part of that is eliminating negativity. <laughs> Timeout called by the Saints. We'll take it to Flagler up 76-61.
6.38 to go here from St. Augustine. Flagler College looking for its seventh conference win, ninth win overall. Now Flagler beat two Division I programs in their non-conference slate. First time a PBC program has beaten two D1s in the same season. Gaither, baseline jumper is good. <clears throat> Game's not over. 13-point lead for Flagler. Flagler's just one of their last eight from the field. That'll help. Metzger with the left hand. Three-pointer is good from Anderson. Anderson has gotten hot here in the second half. That's 11 for him. Quick timeout called by the Patriots, and we'll take it to 78-66, under six to play. Each team with two timeouts left. Well, Francis Marion looks like they're using this break to set up some full court pressure. Bain bounce pass for Metzger. Too strong inside, looking for the foul. And offensive foul on, I think on Redparth. That will be his third. He's the only Patriot in foul trouble. Ellis has three for the Saints. Bain picks up his trouble, needs some help. Looking for Lottie. Now inside to Metzger. Oh, the putback slam dunk from Jalen Barr. Spectacular. The other end, Redparth is fouled. Get bar for this foul. That's his third. His way to the foul line Most of the scoring the is three. coming oh, from Red Lottie Park. and Metzger. Jasek has 29. Chris three. with 18. And then it's Bain and Barr with nine apiece. Ellis has eight. The coach talked about the success of this team hinging on the performance of the seniors, notably Ellis, Metzger, and Lottie, who are all battle-tested veterans. And all will get another season of eligibility Would they, should they want it. This is Redparth at the line. He's got 25 for the Patriots. Substitution back into the game is Ochan as Redparth gets a break. The lead is 12. Lottie brings it up this time. A little help with, from Ellis. Oh, 
Metzger lost the handle, and the ball somehow did not roll over the end line. Patriots come up with it. This is Cox, and he's fouled and bailed out as he was out of control as he came into the front court. So both teams in the bonus, and that will send Cox to the line. Too strong on the first, first one, but Dawson gets the offensive board. Gaither goes to work on Ellis. Tough shot and does not even catch iron. We clock towards four minutes in the game. And Lottie is fouled. Hope oh, it's a free throw shooting contest. I like the odds for the Saints. Body a 77.5% free throw shooter. Saints are now in the double bonus. They shoot at 69% as a team. Second one. It's a 13 point game. Four minutes to play. Gaither attacks, steps through, and drew a foul. So he'll go to the line. And if you're Francis Marion, you like the ability to score with the clock stopped. That's our under four media timeout. 81 68, Saints. Well, Francis Marion is hanging around. They've made six of their last seven field goals, including four of their last five three-pointers. And they've cut what was a huge lead to 13. Gaither is at the line to shoot two. Made them both. Into the front court for Slim. Lottie lost it on his drive to the basket. Metzger just outworked everyone to get that 50-50 ball. And a technical foul has been called on Coach Gary Edwards. And he'll be Held back by his players, Gaither there, as Edwards needs to be. Uh oh, now now Edwards is really losing it. Now 
he's unleashing his frustrations on Red Parth there in the huddle as Lottie misses the first technical free throw. Unlike Jasek Lottie, he missed them both. Saints ball, leading by 11. Lottie working on Cox. And a whistle and a foul. So that sends Jasek back to the line. Lottie's just six of 10 from the charity stripe today. Jalen Barr back in for Lawrence Slim. Lottie up to 31 points now. They're working on Lottie. Three-pointer partially blocked. Lottie leaves it for Barr and another throwdown. Jalen with 11. And a timeout called by Francis Marion. We'll step aside. Saints up by 14. Two fifty six left to go. Eighty four seventy Saints on top. How about the stat line for Jasek Lottie? Thirty one points, ten of eighteen shooting, four of nine from three, six rebounds, seven assists, two steals, and just one turnover. And he's back at the line for more. Or excuse me, side out in front of the Francis Marion bench. Gaither tied up by Lottie, held ball. Possession arrow will keep it here with the Patriots. Get it into Gaither inside. 
Metzger. Thought he uh, blocked it, but I think they're going to get him for a personal foul here. Yep. For Chris. That's his first personal. Gaither makes one of two. Lead is 13. Body stop, starts. Goes baseline. And last touched by Lottie as the ball goes out of bounds. Red Parth to Gaither. Ball intercepted by Spencer Bain. Three on three, and he wisely pulls it out. Clock is the Saints' friend. Ellis gets rid of it to Lottie. Inside it goes to Barr, blocked by Dawson. Barr looking for another big finish, and this is Dawson inside. And he'll score over Barr. You pass to Metzger is right on the money from Spencer Bain. Metzger with 20. Red par, their ball. Lottie cutting to the basket. That's easy. Metzger found him that time. The lead is 15. Blocked by Barr. Barr is fifth in the league in blocks per game. Ball comes in. Cox gets his own miss. Stripped on his way up. Ellis goes right to the rack and scores. Francis Marion looks defeated defensively. Okay, there for three. Long rebound. Off to Cox. Now Red Parth. 30 seconds. Seven to shoot. Red Parth will take the three-pointer, leave it short. Dawson with the rebound and the stick back. Ball intercepted by Gaither, and he's fouled by Metzger inside. Oh, the Saints look really good through most of this one. Allowed Francis Marion to claw their way back, but never really in danger of giving up the lead. Gaither has had a big night, 19 points. Red, Red Parth is replaced by Ochan. And Jasek Lottie can dribble this one out. And the final 90 to 76. The Saints improved to 7 and 1 in the PBC. 9 and 2 overall. Francis Marion drops to 3 and 7 overall and 3 and 7 in the PBC. For Jordan Fauci, I'm Dave Wenda. Again, the final Saints 90, Patriots 